The Princess of Wales is struggling, as you know, with cancer. And her sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, is trying to launch a new business called American, let me see if I can get this right, because these are three like weird words, Riviera Orchard. I think I did. <laughs> Sometimes I forget them because you can say American Orchard, Riviera, or Riviera Orchard. Mar anyway, America Orchard, Riviera. She used to have a blog called The Tig that was really kind of, kind of, I guess, a big deal before she met Prince Harry and went over there to the UK and decided to become a crusader for DEI. And she's got him enlisted in the task, et cetera. And a lot of other minions scattered all around, including at none other than UCAL Berkeley, which has a great rowing program. <laughs> My cousin rode there, actually, and at Cambridge. And a wonderful rowing program, terrible place to live. I used to live in San Francisco. Berkeley was even worse. So UCAL has this guy that runs the DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Program, to make sure that they are being as diverse and equitable and inclusive as they possibly can be at the University of California. And he just started tweeting out a whole bunch of lies. Lies, ladies and gentlemen, trying to suggest that maybe Kate Middleton doesn't actually have what she says she has. I mean, this is crazy. Totally, totally crazy. He's saying that her cancer is fake, and yet he, he's being paid $126,000 to run this UCLA race and equity program. And clearly, like, there's some deep-seated issues with this guy. And he really hates Kate Middleton to the point where he's actually saying stuff like this. I mean, this is, this is the problem. Look at all those tweets. And he sounds like an angry, messed up guy. He said, I personally do not believe Kate Middleton had, has cancer. The Royals presumed cancer. Chemo's mere vague mention would squash concerns about Kate's absence. It mostly did. I mean, this guy's nuts. This is the guy running the equity division, diversity inclusion division, director of that. Apparently, according to the Daily Mail report at UCLA, he likes Meghan Markle. He calls her America's princess. I guess she lives on America's Riviera. Oh my gosh, like that's just gross, right? Like it's really, really gross. And, and yet, you know, this is somehow all fine. This is the problem we're in right now. It's like if you're on that side of the aisle, you can get away with saying anything. And yet there's no standards. There's no accountability. There's no accountability for him. There's no accountability to actually do well in school and get A's so that you can actually go on to one of these schools like Harvard, UC Berkeley, They've, they've already run into issues at UC Berkeley, remember? They've already taken that one to the courts. Harvard just got shut, shot down by the Supreme Court this year. And, and they're looking for workarounds. They're always looking for workarounds because we got to do woke. we got to do all this woke stuff, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? Enough, all right? Like, we are a great country. We are a meritocracy. We are the United States of America where people are doing anything they can to come here every single day since Joe invited them. <laughs> All right, people want to come here. Why? Because we're a meritocracy. Where you know what, it doesn't matter what gender you are, what race you are, your ethnicity, your sexual preference. None of this should matter. What should matter is whether or not you can do the work, whether you're willing to do the work. Fundamentally, that's what counts, all right? And if you want a true America, the beauty of that is that we don't see color, thank you very much, when all they want you to see is that right now. 